Okay, I'm just gonna flat out say this. There, you know, has been a lot of been hate on Nintendo lately, and some of it I don't really see justified at all. And in fact, somewhat on the lines of batshit crazy are did you just escape from a loony bin kind of uh, replies that I'm, I'm about ready to give out. Let me explain. There are three types of hates on Nintendo. First, you got your commentary people who, you know, are fanboys of another product or so. And that's fine. You know, they're saying my shit's better than your shit. That always happens in every product line, no matter what. <sighs> But then, now you've got where the majority of Nintendo haters who hate the new Wii U, just because, are acting insanely bizarre. And bizarre, I mean, most of these are so-called ex-Nintendo fanboys, you know, right, who well, are acting in a bizarre yet insane manner and I found two video clips that pretty much proves how insane they're getting like you know this one where Nintendo apparently stole something I don't know maybe they sold their childhood and they're looking at it as their precious and then there's those people who think that Nintendo has, well, betrayed them. Yes, I'm going to show that Spoonie video. Just, yeah. Betrayal! What? Betrayal! Betrayed me! And for the most part, this is why I'm stopped replying to Nintendo haters for the most part. Because of the batshit insane group of people who seem to think that Nintendo has either betrayed them somehow in some god-awful way from the Wii to the Wii U. Yes, I'll admit that's a stupid name. I, I really don't care for Wii U. But when they start acting in batshit crazy land where they seem to think Nintendo has stolen their precious, which basically, I guess, is either their virginity or their goddamn fucking childhood, or end up act screaming betrayal, for no fucking reason whatso-fucking-ever, I just have to just turn my head away and say, <laughs> you people are insane. And not forgetting, you scared the living fuck out of me.